So I come from a family, from a mom that really loved me. She raised me to be God-loving, good person, big heart, just like she was. By the time I was 13, I didn't really care about any of those values, didn't really mean anything to me. I didn't really see what it can actually do. I decided to leave church. I put God to the side and decided to go do the things that I thought was gonna get me prosperity now and it gave me protection and status. I was taught standards, raised with them, but I didn't really care. So I just kind of did whatever I felt was okay, which was anything, I guess. Every time I hit rock bottom as a teenager, I go back to church. You know, try to get things right, but no, it never lasted. I was never the one to be really oblivious to things. I knew, but like, I always had a choice I could make to kind of go down a good way or to kind of go down this way that's gonna get me what I want now. But eventually, I know something's gonna happen, so I was gonna need to stop eventually. I remember I was just driving. I just started like bawling in the middle of the freeway. I will just yell that like, please, to God. It wasn't even a prayer, it was just like a cry for help. And then the next day, missionaries that came to my door, and then I kind of blew them off. And then they caught me walking to the store, and then they set up an appointment with me. And then they came by and started, you know, visiting me and stuff. And, and one of the things they asked was, Kenny, have you ever thought of serving a mission? It slapped me in the face. I was like, wait, I can do that, huh? I can serve a mission. And they're like, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, I'll serve a mission then. It was just a solid answer to my prayer. Like I knew, like automatically that was the answer I, I was looking for. And once you just have proof of something, you know it. Like, okay, that's what I'm doing, you know? And then I didn't think about all the stuff I was doing to prevent me from going. I just knew in my mind that that was gonna end all of it. Okay, I'm stopping all of that because I can't do it. That's when the process kind of started. I had to go talk to either my bishop and kind of get on that path to start preparing to go on a mission. You know, it didn't just happen. It took a while. But that's what repentance is. It does take a while. As soon as I started changing my life, things that were toxic left, left, left and right. They just went away. With me sincerely acting on that seed of faith that I had, I got answers from that. It changed my life. And it led me to going on a mission, becoming a different person, everything from that little seed. It grew into a big tree, and the tree's still not grown yet. It's probably still a small tree, but yeah, like a little baby sequoia, and that's probably two feet high. But hey, it used to be a non-existent small seed you couldn't even see before. There's still a lot of growing to do, but you always gotta keep nourishing it. But one of the best things of the change is just knowing where to go to turn for peace through God and acting on a small piece or particle of faith, change is possible. I've seen it, I'm living that right now.